Stephanie Milkey here, a.k.a. Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest. If you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and it's Saturday if you're watching live. Tell me where you're tuning in from. I actually want to know... What is the temperature where you're at? Only because since moving to Florida, something fun that I like to do is I like to, one of the, it's not one of the first things I do, but sometime in my morning, I click on like what the temperature is outside, but I have every single place that we've lived and traveled. And I just like to see what they where like what the weather is or where, where people are at. Mainly because our friends in Minnesota are getting snowstorms. Our friends in Oklahoma that I just talked to today had earthquakes all night. Uh, we've got friends and I mean, I've got people all over the place that are like, it's cold. So what's the temperature where you're at? I just think it's fun. I will tell you this. Here in Florida, where I'm at, not saying this to be braggy, it's very windy out and it's going to rain in a little bit, but it is 80 degrees. Now. All of you who have a cold front right now, I think it's coming next week because the cold here in Florida gets to be like 60 to 65. So people that lived here for a very long time believe that that's winter. Um, but as you're tuning in, hey, so all week, Monday through Friday, I came on, I did a live, I gave you a secret key, a word for you to collect uh, mainly because I was like, listen, I want people to learn. I want you to watch the lives um, I want you to take what you've learned, I want you to apply it, right? One of the words that I gave you was action. And so we actually have a little form for you to fill out. So if you collected all five words and you want to enter to win, I'm actually going to keep um, this all Saturday, so I'm not going to draw for the names. I'm going to do it tomorrow, only because I need the people that they're sporting events on Saturdays. I've got friends in Minnesota, their kids are playing basketball, and we've got wrestling, and we've got tournaments. I want everybody who watched the live Monday through Friday to be able to enter today. So post five, post five in the comments, and I will <laughs> post five in the comments, and I'm going to send you the little link to fill out because you collected all five keys. Now, if you also followed along, you know that my husband did a 12-hour walk. So there's a book called The 12-Hour Walk, and it's... A 12 hour walk. You go and you shut off your phone, you shut off all things, and you um, walk with your own thoughts for 12 hours, talking to nobody, not on your phone. And so he did that yesterday. He walked the beach for 12 hours. And when he came home, I was like, What is your biggest takeaway? What did the Lord say to you? Like, what did you hear? And he had a really great takeaway. And so I said, I told some of you, hey, I'm going to have my husband come on and share why he did the 12-hour walk. Uh, some people are like, that's not very hard. And he was like, maybe you should go walk for three hours with bare feet on the sand, and you tell me if it's hard or not. But, and, you know. I said that out of love. No, yeah, he said that out of love. Not like, not meanness. My husband is very nice. He's, he's a great person. I'm the one that has a little bit of a... No, you're even nicer. I'm even nicer. All right, Steve. So with your 12 hour, so, okay, really quick. Um, if you, again, post five below if you collected all five passwords. And Steve is going to share with you his insight about his 12 hour walk. Okay, tell us, what did you want to hold the phone or do you, sure, okay. I can hold it. There you go. Hello, Keto Mom world. That's so great. <laughs> Look, at, usually I'm on the other side of the yeah. camera, so I appreciate this. I got to figure out how this thing works. Um, so. I walked on the beach for 12 hours. And the reason why I did it is because, first off, I'm just super thankful that Stephanie and I have a life that allowed us to be able to, like, let me just go for 12 hours. 
Most of the time that's not the case. And Check especially in today's like, world, yeah. it's uh, the other thing like, how many of you have gone for an hour without your phone? Not me, because I'm talking to all of you. But so, yes, it's important. So first off, I was just super grateful to my wife and to my family for, for it just being possible. And so while I was there, it was it's fascinating. So everyone keeps asking me the same question, like, what did you hear? What was your biggest takeaway? What and, did the Lord tell you? And <laughs> I think really what blew my mind the most is that we have the ability to create self-limiting beliefs in our life, almost like it's unconscious competence. And so what I mean by that is, as you start doing something hard, and it is true, I did have people tell me like, 12 hour walk, that's not that difficult. I get it. Go get on. Until you do go it. Go <laughs> get on the beach, any beach, and just start walking. Or a, a dirt road or a pave or whatever. Right? Bare feet in the sand at three hours, you're going to feel something. So the first thing that actually started happening is I started getting, I mean, my mind started telling me, I think this is good to sit down, stop walking. What are you trying to prove? And it wasn't that I was trying to prove anything to, to anybody. anybody. Like right. this was simply for me to prove to myself that I'm capable of doing good, mighty, and great things. And so I want to encourage you that you were, you were wired to create greatness. There's greatness inside of you. And I think when I hit the three mile mark, I thought, all right, this is, this is pretty intense. And then I just said, just keep taking one step at a time. And I had songs going in my mind. I had, I had nothing to listen to. I was looking for a sand dollar for my wife. It really means a lot to her to be able to get a sand dollar. And I will say this, after 12 hours on the beach, I did not find one sand dollar. I found something that I think might be one. I still gotta show you mm -hmm. what that is. But there was no sand dollar. There was no audible voice that I heard of like. No audible voice from the Lord. <laughs> there wasn't. But I had a lot of internal voices. And so that's what I would want to challenge you with today is what voice are you listening to? Like what is your inner voice telling you? What is your mind telling you? What is your heart telling you? What's your body attempting to tell you? What's your environment around you attempting to tell you? The ocean is a beautiful place. I am so forever grateful for the sand and the weather and the beach and the view. And it was right along this place that we call Dream Drive. And usually we, we take our friends and our family down this drive and it's, it's around Mar a Largo and it goes past all these beautiful homes. And we've always just driven by because it's on the main road. So you see the ocean, you see the main road, but I've never been on the backside of it. And so the reason why I wanted to do this is because I can, in my mind, I'm like, that would be beautiful to live there. But I've never felt worthy of living in a place like that because it just is going to create, it would take so, so much generational wealth. Like so much would have to be created in order to live in a place like that. And so that's why we call it Dream Drive. Like it's a dream, it's a yeah. vision. It would be really amazing if that could happen. And so as I was walking, I hit, I probably was four miles in and I'm like, I think I'm, or four hours in. And I said, I think I'm, I think I'm actually done. Like that's what my body was telling me. My knee started to hurt. Like you're kind of walking at a, it's not flat. So it's kind of at a slant. My hip was starting to hurt. My knee hurt and my feet felt cramped up. I also realized five hours in, I'm like, all right, I'm really sweaty. And I realized my water bag, my camel pack that I had just got, it was brand new. It actually had a leak in it. And so now my fluid is slowly dropping. And I thought to myself, all right, this would be all the reasons just to say, I've, I've done it. I should just turn back around. But I was like, you know what, Steve, there's more in you. There's more in you. And the reason why I knew there was more in me is because I already pre-decided before I went that I was going to walk until my alarm clock on my whoop band went off. And that was the 50, the 50 percent mark. And when I hit the 50 percent mark, I was pre-deciding that I was going to finish stronger than I started. I hope this makes sense. So I didn't have GPS. I didn't have all this stuff. All I had was a pre-set alarm because I pre-decided that I was going to set out on my mission. And usually if you think about it, like whenever you're starting your new year evolutions, or your resolutions or your goals or your whatever, do you usually start better and faster at the beginning or do you end better and faster? Well, most people, they never even finish half the stuff that they go and attempt to do. 
but they usually start stronger and then if they finish, which most people don't, but if they finish, it's usually at a slower pace. I pre-decided in this 12 hour walk that I was gonna finish stronger than I started. And then you might be thinking like, that seems crazy. Well, sometimes we're supposed to do crazy things. And so to me, this 12 hour walk was both mentally and physically pushing myself to another level because for 2024, we've decided as a family that we're going to create new environments, that we're going to create new thoughts, that we are, we're gonna do some things that we've never done before. We're gonna break through some self-limiting beliefs. So for me, as I, I hit the, as I hit that 50% mark, I turned back around and everything that I had walked past, the pier and the houses and the beach tents and all of this stuff, I couldn't even see it. Like I was so past far, like so much further than I thought I was going to go. And so that's the first thing I want to encourage you on is that when you set out on your goal or your dream or your mission, you can actually surpass what you, what you were first telling yourself. And so when I got to that point, I turned back around and I thought, all right, it's in this moment that do I just turn my phone back on and I call in Steph and I say, hey, sweetheart, I need you to pick me up at who's ever. I mean, it was somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? There's more in me. Just take one step at a time. There's more in you. Just keep taking one step at a time. Then I also justified in my mind, like, oh, it's going to be so much easier because now I get to flip it and the inverse. So I'm like, I get to equal out my other hip. I'm going to, it's going to be all this stuff. But then the reality is, is my feet like just started cramping up. And so I just kept taking one more step and one more step. And then I got to this point to where I hit like this stride where I looked down and most of the time I was kind of averaging 25 minute miles on the beach. And I know for a lot of you who are athletes, you're like, that's not very fast. I wasn't trying to be an athlete. I was attempting just to stay in movement, stay in momentum, just keep moving. I wanted it to be a picture of what I'm attempting to create in 2024. Cause I do believe this right people, right place at the right time. That is when alignment happens. And that's when your life will yeah. forever change. What's wrong? Putting your face in there. Oh, sorry. I mean, you're just so beautiful. I'm drawn towards you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I just kept going. Next thing I know, like I'm, I'm feeling like I got second wind and a third wind. And I look down and I'm like, ooh, 23 minutes per mile. Ooh, 21 minutes per mile. And I'm like, I, I was actually feeling really great. Well, I say I was feeling really great while my feet were absolutely just throbbing in pain. And so that comes to kind of the next point of, during this year, during your goals and while you're progressing towards the goals that you have that set out for you, you're gonna face some hardships. You're gonna have some mental battles. You're gonna have some rejection. You're gonna feel some pain. And it's in those moments where you've gotta, well, hopefully because you've pre-decided or you've written it down or you're going after it that you just keep you just keep charging. You just keep going for it. And finally, when I got back to the pier, I was like, oh my goodness, look it, I've made it. And the biggest realization that I had at this point of hitting the pier and knowing that I still had a few miles to go was that when I looked back at all of the condos and all of the beautiful, I mean, they're probably $100 million homes, $30 yeah. million homes, is being on the other side of it, because usually I just see the front, you never see the back. I was looking back at that and I'm like, that would be incredible. But for the first time, I actually felt worthy enough to know that something as 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 big as that could be something that I, I'm i worthy enough to dream of. Yeah. Now, will it happen? I'm gonna do everything I can with my own gifts, talents, and how God's wired me and to use these hands to continue to create. And if at the end of my life, I'm able to provide a home like that for my kids or for our next generation, that would be incredible. I'm gonna do the best that I can do. And so as I'm walking on this walk, I finally get to my finish point and I mean, I'm out of water, my feet are just throbbing, my legs are cramping up, and I just look back, I look back at the beach, I look to the south, and I think to myself, wow, Steve, like you really went a long distance, and you're back here at the starting point. And then it all of a sudden dawned on me, I'm like, people are gonna ask me, like, what, what did I hear, what did I see, all this stuff. I saw a lot of beauty, I didn't hear any audible voices, but, in my, in my mind, I, I heard lots of different self-talk. And the self-talk started not so great. But when I was finished, I actually was super proud of myself. 
And when I got back to the car, I looked in the mirror and I said to myself, Steve, you're amazing. Steve, I love you. Steve, I'm so proud of what you just accomplished. And it was in that moment, sitting in my car, getting ready to drive back home, that it, it dawned on me that I was created for such a time as this. And in this moment, I'm thankful and I'm grateful. And, and I just saw, I closed my eyes and I just saw a beautiful future. I saw myself playing with my kids. I saw myself playing with my future grandchildren. I saw myself creating wealth. I saw myself creating friendships and just being open to the unknown and the unknown of being some absolutely amazing things that our family gets to create. And so I just wanna encourage you that life is what we dare to make it. And so if there's things that you've got sitting on your heart or in your mind that you've wanted to create, that you've wanted to do, that you've wanted to explore, that you've wanted to adventure, I'm just gonna encourage you to go do it. Go make it happen. We're not promised tomorrow. All we've been given is today. And so that was that was my biggest takeaway is that we, 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 you and I, we are able to overcome our limiting beliefs. We are, over, we are able to overcome our past. We are able to step into and dare to create an amazing future. And so I hope that this was an encouragement to you. Uh, the 12 hour walk was something that was truly beautiful for me. And if you have a chance, uh, go take your shoes off, connect with, connect with the sand, go walk on the beach. And at least um, shut off your phone for a couple hours. <laughs> or start with phase one and just disconnect from your phone for a couple hours yeah. and just see, see what kind of, see what, see what you can create. Create, create great things. That's what you're created to do. Honey, you're so great. Thanks for sharing. I loved that he came home and he was like, I'm just so thankful. So I wanted him to share that with you. Uh, it's been a really great week. We've been dreaming and creating and believing and then knocking down like Steve said, beliefs that are um, not what we want to believe for. You know, here's the last thing I'm going to say is, again, if you collected all five words from this last week, post five in the comments. I'm going to send you something in the chat. But uh, I read something yesterday that I thought, oh, I had no idea. Why would they want to post five? You're posting five because you collected five words that I gave you, secret keywords from Monday through Friday to put your name into a drawing for some ketones. So I read something yesterday, and Steve might not know this, but it, yesterday, did you know that yesterday was labeled national? It was the national um, biggest day that people quit their New Year's resolutions or their goals or their, yesterday was the day that people quit. Wow. I know. I read that, and I was like, it's oh. only day 12. Is today the 13th? Today's the 13th. It was day 12, and I read that, and I went, Wow. I had a friend that sent a message to me and she goes, hey, look at the gym. It's already empty on the 12th, right? And so it's interesting because Steve said, like, he didn't quit. He didn't quit when yesterday was the national quit day. He didn't quit on the 12-hour walk on the 12th. Like, I read that and I went like this, huh? So if that was you or you find yourself like, yeah, yesterday I felt like, you know what? it's been 12 days and I'm not seeing results. I'm not feeling it. This isn't for me. Don't be the huge statistic that quits on yourself. That has those limiting beliefs that Steve said he felt as he walked for 12 hours, right? Like don't quit on yourself. The only way that you're going to fail in any of this is if you quit, uh, which a lot of people do. And so don't be one of those people, because even if you're like, if you could be like, yeah, yesterday that was me. Like I said, I'm done. It was a break day. Guess what? Today's a new day. And now it's a day a yes. Day. If you keep going and you quit, then you're going to fail. But if you get back up today and this weekend and you make some plans and you dominate this next week, you're going to win. You're going to win. You're going to grow in your awareness as a person, in your character, and your mindset. You're going to inspire not only yourself, but people around you. So I want to say this. Thank you for tuning in. Your presence matters. Post a five below if you collect it. Did you guys like the keyword? Do you want me to do it next week as well? Uh, and it's just doing a live. I do a live every day under 10 minutes, hopefully, if I don't get long-winded. Give you a thought for the day. Give you a word, and you can collect them, and I'll give away some ketones. So they're pretty incredible. I drink them every single day. I did a live earlier this week all about them, but if you enjoy it, I'll keep doing it. Post five below. I'm going to send you a message. 
Uh, otherwise, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope you um, know that you can reach out and ask any questions. You can ask questions below, or you can always go to ketomomsecrets.com. And uh, on the website, you can click on recipes. If you're looking for recipes, click on book club because I've done books for years and years. Uh, you can click on how to get started. You can click on trial packs of ketones. So ketomomsecrets.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm so proud of my husband and we'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.